what is up YouTube? Welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. This is my channel Pixie Dust and Spirit Alchemy. I'm Pixie Dust and this is where we talk about all sorts of things. Taboo, occult, magical, spiritual, kind of weird for, you know, normal people. Muggles, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's been a little while since I've made a video, kind of solo video really. I've been doing some collaborations, some um, podcasts, so if you haven't checked those out, I'll post a link to any sort of Wealth Magic podcast collaborations that we've been doing lately, me and a couple other good friends um, that have YouTubes and some don't. And then also another friend of mine and I have been collaborating on our Diving Deeper podcast, well, my Diving Deeper podcast series. Hers is The Secrets of the Universe, where we are talking about our Kabbalion reviews and how that incorporates and manifesting and everything. So if you guys haven't checked those out, please do. I'll make some links in the video as well. But today's videos, I wanted to talk about something that's a little bit different, a little new, um, newer on my channel, but I was inspired when I got a massage the other day, and I'll get into the story of that in a second. But today's video, guys, is about spirit animals, or the meanings of spirit animals, what they are, and how to find yours. So let's get started. So first of all, just a little backstory on what inspired me to do this video. I um, was getting a massage a few weeks ago, and first of all, I have a dragonfly tattoo on my back, because that is my spirit animal. And as I was getting the massage, um, Typically, like, I don't really care for people to talk to me when I'm getting a massage, you know, because it's like, I'm here, I'm here for, I'm here for a massage, like, I'm here to chill out, relax, like, please don't talk to me. So I'm getting a massage, and the guy that is massaging me notices my back tattoo, and he's asking me about it, and he's like, I'll post a picture of what it looks like here, and he's like, so are dragonflies the, is your tattoo saying that they're like the spirit, or the, the center of the universe? Because it's like a dragonfly and a bunch of planets around it. And I was like, no, not really. Basically, long story short, I ended up um, explaining to these, this guy that what, dra what it was to me, what it is, and what spirit animals are. And I was like, he doesn't know what spirit animals are, so I wonder how many people may not know what spirit animals are and how many would like to know what they are. So today's video is about spirit animals. So first of all, what is a spirit animal? A spirit animal, to me, is the essence of an animal that our spirit embodies. And that can be anything from an insect to an animal, because obviously mine is a dragonfly, and dragonflies are insects. But it can be a dragonfly, or it could be an insect, I mean. It could be an animal, it could be, you know, a reptile, it could be an amphibian. It, it, it's not strictly mammals, you know, like land mammals. Dragon, or excuse me, spirit animals could be whatever it is that resonates with you, essentially. Just that animal's essence into your soul. So a lot of people, or I don't know, different people may say different things, you know, um, about, about what they are and how many you can have, you know. And ultimately, I don't think there's really a rule that says you can only have one spirit animal, you know, because throughout life we evolve and grow and change. And, you know, maybe as we evolve and grow and change, we identify with these different energies or different animals. So it's okay to have more than one spirit animal. Personally, I identify the most with the dragonfly, and that is why it's been, you know, sort of more so my 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 animal that I resonate with and yeah there are other ones that maybe I that I pay attention to but nothing that really hit me hit close to my heart and soul as much as the dragonfly did um and how did I find this out how did I find out that my that my um spirit animal was a dragonfly well good question um you know it it is a good question because it makes me think. Um, I really, I really found out intuitively. I had no idea what spirit animals are. So a few years ago, I was going through just kind of a spiritual awakening of sorts. Um, you know, really on a search for my own identity, um, for myself, for my soul. I was soul searching. I ended up on this spiritual journey that I had no idea of. I was going to be starting, and I'm kind of still on it. You know, I have this YouTube now, and I 
you know, write spiritual things and you know, I'm a very spiritual person and it all kind of started on this journey. And I don't know, when, whenever you kind of accept the spiritual journey into your life, um, things start to be, things start to come to you. Synchronicities, coincidences, even though I don't believe in coincidences, so it's purely magic or synchronicities. And I just kept finding spirit animals, like online or something, you know, and, and, and what it was. And, and eventually I, I kept, I kept coming back to the dragonfly and I would see dragonflies just kind of around my apartment or around school or wherever I was driving at the time, they would be there. And I, it was always just very comforting. So I was like, Oh, dragonflies. And it hasn't always been my favorite animal or, or anything, you know, like I, I was never like particularly interested in dragonflies. Um, but on this spiritual journey, I kind of learned more about what they mean. And dragonflies specifically represent transformation. They represent self-realization, um, the power of light, and, and essentially um, having joy and, and being able to find happiness in um, the darkest of situations. And at the time that I was, that my spirit animal introduced itself to me, I was going through a dark time. I was going through a time of isolation, a time of um, a time of insecurity, a time of uncertainty, and a time where I needed answers. And I didn't really know what answers I needed. And it just kind of happened. It just, you know, you find these things that resonate. So my favorite number was always 22 growing up for multiple reasons. It's just a very, it's being a reoccurring number in my life. Um, for multiple reasons. My first tattoo was 22 because in Roman numerals, because I was like, it's, it's my favorite number. It is part of me, I feel like. And I would see things like dragonflies are associated with the number two. They are also, um, associated with the fae world because of their wings and because they come, they flicker in the light and can supposedly transform into the fae realm again. And me, myself, I'm also very into fairies my whole life. I uh, believe I have a fairy soul somewhere deep down there. All things fairy and fae. Maybe it's my Scottish um, Scottish roots, you know, the Gaelic, Gaelic uh, in me, but loved fairies. And when dragonflies were introduced to me as a relative, essentially, I, it resonated even more. So that's kind of how it came to me. Um, but if you're looking for your own spirit animal, ask the universe. You know, I mean, it. I know a lot of people that um, resonate with owls. I'm not here to explain to you, like, what every spirit animal is and what they mean. You know, there's the internet for that. You're welcome to try that out on your own. But essentially, like, what, what makes sense to you? What resonates? Owls are known to be wise, wise creatures. And there's other things. Um, cows can be one. You know, uh, essentially, like bears, tigers, wolves, um, whatever resonates with your spirit. And I find it kind of interesting because I've met on my, you know, spiritual journey ever since finding out that my spirit animal is a dragonfly. I've met three other people that also have a dragon or spirit animal dragonfly, dragonfly spirit animal. And all of us, so I'm only five foot three. I'm not very tall or big. Um, and all of these people, these three other people that I met at different times that have the dragonfly spirit animal are also about my height or shorter. And we're just all, all very small, compact people that are not compact, but, you know, but bubbly. We, we get along very well. We have certain similar traits because it's that energy that we exude, that essence. So it makes sense to me learning about them. And, you know, it makes you feel closer to that person because it's like, oh my God, your dragon, your spirit animal is a dragonfly. Me too. That relates. You know, yours could be um, a bear, and somebody else's could be a bear. Bears are known to be like very territorial and protective, and like, you know, and different cultures even have their own reasons and um, variations on what a spirit animal means to them. So, according to like some notes that I was looking up, like in Swedish cultures, for example, um, the dragonfly symbolizes purification of the soul, whereas in Danish and Portuguese cultures, it may represent dark symbolism. So it, it really depends on the culture. Um, but why why do spirit animals matter? Like, why is it important 
Why is this important? Why did I get a dragonfly tattoo on my back? <laughs> well, it just depends essentially on the person and how important it is to you. To me, I was super grateful for this, um, for this knowledge, for this intuitive knowledge to resonate with me because it really helped me transcend on my journey and continue to align with the dragonfly and what that means and, and you know, in my spiritual journey all around. And pretty much as a spiritual people, we'll find what spirit animal resonates with us. You know, the best ways that I would say to find yours would probably, first of all, be open to it. Ask the universe, you know, be open to the idea of accepting a spirit animal into your, into your knowledge, into your mind, into your psyche. Asking spirit guides or asking the universe even before you sleep, asking dreams, what is my spirit animal? You know, show me what it is. Or even meditating. Meditating on something and then just asking for the clarity of which animal resonates with my soul at this time. And see what your answer is. You know, are there are you seeing any creatures or any reoccurring creatures regularly? Like ravens or um, even like ladybugs. Butterflies could also be a spirit animal. Dragonflies, maybe your, maybe your spirit animal is a dragonfly as well. And eventually, you will intuitively know. You will intuitively have the knowledge that that is my spirit animal. That That is me. And me and my three other friends that I have that have their spirit animals as dragonflies, whenever we see them, it's almost a comforting feeling, you know, because it's like we know we're in the right place. It's almost a synchronistic event. And the importance of this is varies to everybody, you know. Um, it could be... Like, like my massage therapist saying, asking if dragonflies are the center of the universe. No, they're not the center of the universe to me. You know, I don't worship dragonflies. But I am aware that I embody the energy of a dragonfly. And what it means in the spiritual realm, or in the spiritual terms. And, and that's a powerful thing. You know, it's powerful in any self-searching that we're doing any, in, on our spiritual journey, or whether we're having one or not. And it bonds you to other people. So if you're at all curious in finding out what your spirit animal is, I would recommend, I would recommend finding it out, you know, and just seeing, um, first of all, what do you feel like it is? What is the first animal that you think of? And what, you know, do you, does any part of your personality or characteristic resonate with the features that this animal exudes or has? Yes, no, maybe so, I don't know. And then read about it online. There's several good links out there. You know, if you just type in spirit animals, um, you'll find multiple, you'll find so many different things. I wanted to make just a short video today about this because it's been on my mind a lot lately. And, you know, people sometimes laugh at the idea of oh, spirit animals, whatever. You know, and, and that's fine. That, laugh about it. Okay, great. But it's still going to mean something important to me and to whoever else it means something to you, you know. And um, and from there we can kind of just continue and bring that energy into our into our life and do what we will with it, you know. Flit like maybe having like a, a flitting personality, um, you know, always looking for for joy and, and positivity and transformation and light in the, in the dragonfly spirit animal, especially, um, or, but whatever yours is, you know, and none are better than the others. Maybe there's more than one. Maybe you used to resonate with a tiger and now you resonate with a butterfly. That's okay. I don't know how many people could have. I don't think there's not necessarily a limit. Um, I think it depends on the person. But I think it's a neat, a neat kind of just, I don't know, a neat fact or a neat trait to have and to learn about somebody and, and apply that meaning to your life, you know? And, and then once you start, once you have this spirit animal, start noticing how often it kind of shows up in your life. Because now that I have this awareness of the dragonflies, I see them a lot more regularly, especially when it's dragonfly season. And, and it's comforting to me. Um, and maybe it is to you as well. So if you already know your spirit animal, 
then go ahead and type it in the message, type it in the comments. Let me know what it is. Let me, let's talk about it. Let's see what, compare spirit animals. And if not, then if you have a desire to find it out, read about it online or, or meditate. I would start with meditating and just what do you feel like it is intuitively? Because ultimately that's how you will get your answer. There's no quiz that you can take online. I mean, I'm sure there probably is a quiz you can take online somewhere that will tell you, but the truest answer is going to come from within. So this is just kind of a short little fun side video today, guys. Um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time with it, but I wanted to kind of put this out there into the universe and just the meaning of spirit animals. And maybe eventually I'll go into like the different cultures and if anybody has more of a curiosity on what they are and what they mean. Um, especially, maybe I'll go into more depth on the dragonfly spirit animal because I'm a little bit biased towards it at the time, at this time. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys got something out of this. If you like this video or like any of the other videos, give it a thumbs up and maybe even the bell notification if you want to keep seeing videos regularly. I'm going to be, I know I've had some several new subscribers recently, so I'm going to be on kind of a posting spree this month, or doing my best to be. I've been out of town for the last couple weeks, so it was a little harder for me to get around to things, but I'm back in action now, guys. And stay tuned for the collaboration videos that we have coming up. I'm super excited about those. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.